Apical two chamber view. Forgetting apical two chamber, it is very easy. Just you have to have good apical four chamber view. A good apical four chamber view for uh, going and getting apical two from there. The most important is that you have to put the uh, bring the septum at the center of the image. In this case, it's not at the center. It's a little of an is oblique. Make it vertical with just heel toeing and slide a little medial the probe. The septum come to the center of the uh, image, and in that case, we twisting counterclockwise between something between. 80, 90, even 60, sometimes depending on the body habitus and orientation, you can see nicely crescentic shape here, pinpoint apex, left atrium open, and anterior wall and posterior wall. For uh, the, uh, there are some mistake, or actually that is not mistake. This is the way when we are twisting. Usually, uh, our hand fanning a little medial or lateral so how you know fix it when you are twisting your fanning too it's very easy when if you to uh, when you are twisting if you are fanning you will see sometime a uh, ortic show up and the uh, mitral valve disappear look at this image if i have when i'm twisting uh, i if i fan up toward this uh, roof you will see I sh aortic valve show up, but I lost mitral valve and left atrium. So I know I am fanning up when I am in this level. Just I fan down and continue my twisting, and it can get it a nice apical to image. If when you are going for the evaluation wall uh, wall motion, don't forget always increase gain and show in the cardium clearly so i here my gain is low i increase the gain and suddenly we we'll see my cardium and in the cardium in anterior and inferior wall show up very clearly so zoom in and optimize your image with the gain all those option uh, modes that you have it and try show it clear in the cardium and myocardium in both walls if i am uh, twisting too much it starts showing three chamber view so i go twist less and finally i will fix my images the structure that you will see in uh, apical two chamber is very clear on this case usually you can see left uh, atrium appendage and you see uh, uh, right pulmonary vein here, anterior and posterior, lift, mitral valve leaflet, and a little of pericard, uh, diaphragm here is why is thick here, inferior wall, because part of it is uh, of half of it almost is the diaphragm, and the other part is a real wall. So showing the endocardium, it helps you how much is thickness of the posterior, is that contraction or not, and all those stuff. If you can see here, this is coronary groove, that is usually coronary sinus and coronary artery uh, at this spot, con connecting with left ventricular and left atrium. And if uh, maybe you can see aortic descend descending aorta here show up, and we in another clip we talk about how you can get it descending thoracic aorta.